hello, hello, and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous likes, views, comments, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. I really, really appreciate it, guys. We're well above three and a half thousand subs already, uh, so maybe hitting four thousand by the end of the week, which is going to be excellent. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to do a couple of little how-tos this week. Um, there's uh, so many new people have joined the channel, so many, and uh, a few of them are, you know, uh, lower-level players, you know, just starting out. I've been playing a couple of weeks, so we're just going to run through some of the basics today. We're going to go how to get orange tickets. Probably uh, a billion people have been asking me this, so let's uh, run through it as soon as we can. Obviously now, orange tickets, what the hell are they? Orange tickets are super recruitment tickets. You use super recruitment tickets in the bar here, recruit heroes. These give you the best chance of recruiting a orange hero. Orange heroes are the best heroes in terms of any aspect of the game, combat or development. Um, you can, of course, receive orange heroes from using a blue ticket or a purple ticket however uh, you get a better chance with a super recruitment or orange ticket opening 10 times uh, gives you an even better chance now if you are new and if you are starting say you're in the clash of province now reign of chaos is coming up um, one tip if you possibly can try and save all of your orange tickets for the whole season of reign of chaos and use them at the end of the season this way you will have access to some of the uh, seasonal heroes there are limited heroes there are better chances for getting uh, particular heroes and that all comes towards the end of every rock uh, reign of chaos season so if you can and this is something that a lot of high level players do i never have the patience to do it myself uh, but a lot of high level players will save up all of their orange tickets for an entire reign of chaos season and open them at the end giving them a better chance of getting orange heroes that's just a quick tip now if you are going to open your heroes uh, on any other day, uh, please watch my videos on opening uh, tickets on the wrong day. As we are currently standing, I am experimenting with opening tickets on any other day but a Thursday. Thursday is Hero Development Day in the Clash of Provinces, so opening orange tickets on those days generally gets you more points in the Clash of Province event, which is a good thing. However, there is a theory. And I don't know if it's a made-up theory, but it has been going around for years that uh, if you open them on a different day, you have a better chance of getting heroes. So we're currently testing that. So that's just for your information. If you're going to open them, I would suggest that you do still open them on a Thursday because you're going to get the points from Clash of Province, which is going to get you more chests and resources, and that's important. However, be aware that if you keep an eye on the channel, over the next couple of weeks, I should be forming a theory and proving and testing that theory about whether or not to open tickets uh, on a different day now today we're not going to open tickets but we're just going to talk about where we receive them from now orange tickets uh, every ticket each day you get one free uh, with the orange and the purple you only get one free yes okay so if we open this now we are going to get the count the cooldown is going to be until the end of the day until reset again and we're going to open it now actually because we may as well bam Okay, pointless. <laughs> As you can see, the cooldown is 18 hours and 32 minutes, which is the time uh, until the end of the day, until reset. So we only get one free orange ticket per day. This cannot be saved. Free tickets do not stack. If you don't open it today, you will not have two free tickets tomorrow. That's not how it works. Same with the purple tickets. You only get one per day. Bam close that 18 hours 32 and obviously with the blue tickets you get a number of tickets per day i actually don't know um if you probably open them at reset it's all timed maybe four or five i'm gonna say somebody down below so the next one's gonna come in 10 minutes and then i think the one after that is 25 minutes you can watch an ad to speed up that time but you do get generally a few more blue tickets for free per day so that's the first way we get our first orange ticket of the day um second way to get your orange tickets is in the clash of province competition in the third chest oh look we got a chest from just opening three tickets that's fantastic lovely 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 oh and all oh, my alliance has got a chest as well thank you very much now the third chest of every single day of the clash of province event will give you a super recruitment ticket that is why it is seriously important 
to get to the third chest every day now i know a lot of people are going to be saying i can never get to the third chest i only get to the first it is incredibly hard especially when you're starting out and you're in newcastle but if you keep on working and keep on pushing you will get there and it gets easier and easier and easier but definitely 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 do everything you can to get to this point because this is the main way to get a super recruitment ticket every day yeah and if you can get there that's seven tickets per week which is fantastic okay nice 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 that's the first way and it's pretty much the only way <laughs> to be honest um in terms of if you need more orange tickets there's really only two other kind of ways you're gonna get them uh one is through the chance of the dragon so this new dragon and let me just repeat here for everybody who's going to ask me down below there are three versions of the game running at the moment the old version the beta version and the new version okay uh this is currently throughout the game in different states etc etc people have all three different versions you know they don't know which version they're in i can tell you straight up if you can't see this you are either in the old or the beta version if you can see this page you are in the new version if you want to be in the new version you have to wait okay the game is updating the developers are doing it themselves it is not something that you can do or you have control over you just have to wait However, if you are in this version, doing the dragon exploration uh, as often as you possibly can is obviously very important. Uh, by completing this, you are sometimes able to, damn it, I'd really hope we can get something there. Sometimes able to, no, able to, uh, no, you're sometimes able to get what is called a dragon's chest. And I've been unlucky the last couple of days. I have not been getting any dragon's chest. No, there's none in there. However, when you open a dragon's chest, you are often able to get a super recruitment ticket. I have received one so far in the last i guess two weeks that i have had um uh, this dragon uh, available uh, and i know other people have as well so that's a second way to get another super recruitment ticket every day um, the third way i guess is the clash of provinces and this is going to apply only to castles over a certain level so once you get to castle level 23 and if your province wins the clash of provinces yes so we see here you will receive as a victory reward victory in the clash of zones you see we had that yesterday as a victory reward i received two super recruitments per day now below castle level 23 i do think you re you receive one if you're castle level 22 and 21 uh, but somebody has to clarify that down below i can't remember exactly but definitely castle level 23 and above you receive two i believe castle level 25 you receive three of these super recruitment tickets here so that basically means that at the max what i can earn every day is three tickets okay i earn one from opening the three clash of province chests here um, and then i earn two more if our zone or our province wins the clash of province for that day i then have a chance to earn a fourth one uh, if i open this dragon and i get very very lucky the only other way you can get orange recruitment tickets is at the end of a reign of chaos season if you are in the top 40 of the ranks of all the alliances in that reign of chaos if you have uh, donated and uh, earned 10,000 seasonal tally points yourself on a personal contribution level then you will receive a reward and that reward is usually somewhere between depends on the ranking you can check it out in the clash uh, the reign of chaos uh, rewards screen um, but it depends you will get at least one orange ticket is up to I don't know quite a few um, so that's the only other way you're going to get uh, orange tickets. So let's just recap. From Clash of Prophets third chest, possibly from the dragon on a daily basis, possibly. And from your entire province winning the Clash of Zones, but you have to be a certain castle level. I'm going to say definitely above 20 and above 23 in order to receive two tickets per day. And also, obviously, you get one free per day. Now, it's hard. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be saying, I can't do that. I can't do that. This is this is too hard. Why? Give me tips on how to do this better. Give me the tricks. What is the tricks? Is there a hack? No, guys, it's just hard, hard, 
work and graft and grind. That's all there is to it. Is, yeah, I've got to hit that third chest. And sometimes it is incredibly hard to hit that third chest, but it is worth it because once you get those orange heroes, you're going to be able to get faster and hopefully get development heroes, which are going to help you improve and get more resources, etc., etc., etc. So it is just hard graft. There is no tips. There is no tricks. There is nothing like that. It is just this is how it works. I hope that's helped. Please let me know down below if I've forgotten one area. I've spent the last 40 minutes looking at every damn menu <laughs> and trying to check everything because I nearly inevitably forget <laughs> something for sure. I always do. Um, so I'm checking, 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 and I'm pretty sure I've worked out, I've got every way to find an orange sticker. But if, if I've missed one, let me know down below so that we can share it with the community. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Click the like and subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. And I'll catch you again the next time. Cheers. Bye.